I appreciated the fact that he was trying to like distract and like, no, mm-hmm. I was just putting on a sweater. <laughs> I'm just shucking and driving. <laughs> exactly. And I'm over here like, okay. I see what oh you did, God. but that's funny. All right, well, let's start the show. Ready? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was got to get that one little rainy neat neat. I love that one. Welcome to the Ugly Truth. This is episode 589. Ugh. Ugh. I'm uh, still battling a little bit of a cold. Oh. <clears throat> it's not COVID. And I, as I said last week, it's not COVID. It is a cold. Yes. Because people are disgusting on planes. Things are going around, I'm telling you. People at work have just had the regular flu. And it's not COVID. It's not COVID. It's We've crazy. all tested. As soon as we get oh, sick, yeah. we're like, oh my God. Daryl tested. Daryl tested. And he's like, I was really worried. I was getting anxious. So I got up in the middle of the night and took a COVID test. Oh, he's geez. like, it's negative. And I'm like, okay, good. So we're oh just, my gosh. just filthy people on planes, essentially, is yeah, what gave, well, gave us this. Traveling will do it every God time. God damn it. Especially when you've been on a plane for 10 hours at a pop. Oh, for God's sake. Jesus days. Christ. And you hear the coughing and you're just like I mean I think I think I would hope that most of us do our best to be as healthy as we possibly can be when we have to travel but you know what shit happens sometimes and you're just like (sighs) yeah I don't know man like people are just gross yeah I had a guy cough on the back of my head in in London (sighs) on a plane on a bus that happened to me (laughs) but he didn't cough on the back of my head I didn't feel the air but I definitely knew he uh, he was way too close to the back of my head I'm like that's where I got this cold oh my god some Scottish old man anyway <laughs> um okay so welcome to the ugly truth we are in October already I just can't even I can't either did you notice like on the first every single thing you see on television is Halloween oh yeah literally everything immediately, I mean, immediately. um and I, I'm going to say something profound and I don't want any, I don't want the whole world to get upset with me I am not a fan of hocus pocus <laughs> I hate Hocus Pocus. The new one they're getting ready to release, or did they already release it? No, it it released October 1st. It's ridiculous. Sarah's just (laughs) Kapark. So here's the thing, though. I don't even like the original. Like, I don't like I I don't think I ever saw the original. I've seen enough of it to know that it's not. Is Bette Midler in it? She's the main person. Okay, so right there. It's Bette Midler, Kathy Najimy, Najimy, and Sarah Jessica Parker. And Two out of three that I want to puke when I see. I mean, I don't have any strong feelings on any of it. I do. That's fine. I mean, Bette I'm not a fan. Bette Midler, I can tolerate better than SJP. I think Bette Midler is a treasure. I like her a lot. I love her. I don't. But, not but I saw Sarah Jessica Parker, and I'm like, you look younger in the second one than the first one. What does that have to say? I, but that's, so. I mean, she's just so thin and... Well, she's very... Ugly. Not. I'm not a fan. Um, anyway, Although we love Sex and City. I'll hate watch it forever. <laughs> and when it, when it was new, give I didn't me, hate it. Give me, I loved it. give me 100 episodes and I'll, I'll hate watch that bitch all day. When it's on E and there's nothing else on Sunday, I'll, I'll just it. let it play. I'll watch it. I'm like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> You're the worst friend ever. All day. All day. She I love is. it. I'm like, you did Samantha so fucking dirty. I know. I know. I hate you for I, that. It's funny because I never had that opinion of her. Oh, I did. Or the sh- I know you did. But Always. Until you shared it with me, probably when we started doing the show a thousand years ago. Yes. I, I, so you've morphed me now. I'm like, sorry. What? She's right. No. <laughs> it's like, I can't unsee what I've seen now. Yeah, and you're it's like, just you too are late. selfish. God. She is. She's, She's horrible. So fucking, and, and it was even worse than the new rendition. And just like that, when she had to bring up every time someone had any kind of problem in their lives, she goes, well, my husband died and that trumps everything. I'm like, it's right. the giant post-it note forever. <laughs> so forever, God. no matter what kind of crisis anybody else in her life is going through like well at least your husband didn't die and i'd be like you know what at some point i would say you know what carrie i give zero fucks about your dead husband he was an asshole right recall the only time he wasn't an asshole was after you married him before he died which was like a blink for most of us and let's not forget you stood there and stared at him for way too long when he was dying in the shower Okay, you could have called nine one one. CPR. You could have gotten his night his 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 nitroglycerin. You could have gotten the nitroglycerin tablets. You knew where they were. It was even mentioned at the beginning of the show that you had to take them. Why did they mention it? Why did they mention it if that wasn't gonna try to? You know, they could have at least feebly attempted for her to try to save his life and satisfy all of us. Thank you. Because every fan who watched that said the same damn thing. Or did she watch and just go? You know what? You should die. Finally, I'm going to get payback with all your money. This is what happens when you yeah. fuck me over for 20 years. Oh my God. I don't know. Anyway, speaking of that, nothing, yeah. actually. 
Someone we went to high school with murdered a guy. Recently? Yes. Shut up. Unfortunately, he was homeless. Was it the guy that was throwing rocks and the yes. old man came? Oh my God. We know him? We do. He went, you and I know him indirectly. We did not hang out with him. He was a year older than me. Oh, then so I wouldn't even know you, him. What you may have depend, it you depends. You were a senior when I was a freshman. Yes, I know. So it, you may, okay, there's a lot of people we went to high school with that never left town. <laughs> And they all kind of hung out and together as friends. Like I still see people, and they're still Jamie, friends with the same group of honest guys. to God. Somebody, somebody that I nothing wrong with it, but I no, mean no, they've no, never no, grown no, beyond no. either. Like they only have those high school friends still, where they they literally peaked in high school. See, I hope we that know wasn't people. True. Like that. I was hoping that the only reason why we see them is because they <laughs> tag those people that we're all friends with, and that they probably had other friends other than that. One would but, hope, but you know, I don't know. It's funny. Somebody who was on my Facebook who I have mentioned thinly veiled on the show before <laughs> about how I secretly hate the person right. but, but we're you, friends you on keep, Facebook right. and the, the person was so pathetic that Ooh. I enjoyed watching their patheticness it's well that person unfriended me <gasps> <laughs> no and I was offended no I wasn't offended I wonder if she unfriended me I'll have to check uh huh. I have so many thoughts about things that, you know, si- sibling loyalty is a thing with, with us. So, so much. I'm going to keep a tight lip because there's four of us and <laughs> this person is still friends with one of the four of us. Are they friends with me or did you not check? I'm pretty sure it's not you. Oh. So, but I'm not going to point. It doesn't matter. No. It just, my point is, is that. Listen, once- <clears throat> I've had falling outs with people that you're all friends with and some of you people are not, I don't think you are, but. Still friends with, it's a smattering. Uh, yeah, right, 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 right. And on the one hand, I really don't care. It, Like I've told our mother, social media doesn't mean anything. Same. It's not real. I, exactly. The, so Which to is me, why I don't care. Like half the time, I'll, I'll tell producer Dub, I'll tell her, I'm like, I go, you're still friends with that person. They were assholes <laughs> to me and, I, and unfriended me and blocked me. Oh, geez. And so he'll be like, I am. I didn't even know. And I'm like, well, well you were. And right. so, and the thing is though, is he'll forget about it just as quickly as I said it. And not, and not, not do a thing person. about it. Yeah. It's fine. It's <laughs> right, fine. Right, right. I don't care. You know, I, I, I truly don't care. But it is weird because I'm with you about sibling loyalty. <laughs> well, yeah. So. Except that it's nice to have it as a spy. I agree. But the person had like made a comment um, and the and the, the relative commented back. And I'm like, why are you talking to this person that I loathe? That's weird. That's well, suspicious. So, I yeah, I mean, it, I don't know. No, anyway. I just think sometimes we're ob- oblivious to yeah. each other's secret hatred for one another's That's friends. True. So maybe the person doesn't even know I hate that person. Probably. But why would they unfriend you? I suspect that that person listened to the show. Oh, they, I think that they person, immediately thought it was about them. Because it was such, <laughs> there was kind of, it would if you knew, like, it's like, if you know, you know. Yes. That person would know. She's that I like, was talking about that person. That's strange. I really relate to this information. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And I mean, I think that person would never admit they, they listened fine. to the show. I Don't think they were to. like a secret listener. That's good. Thanks for the download. You probably are still hate listening and I appreciate it. I think Thanks. I would not be surprised. Love it. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, but yes, he murdered a guy. And, and it was weird because... I'm like, you know, when we I were, think the guy had a heart attack. He did, but post, it was but it was because post of post assault. Yes. Yes. Which is terrifying. It's horrible. And he was he was seventy the man was seventy four who passed away. Right. And this guy is obviously a little like uh, basically 40s, my age. The f- late forties, fifties, yeah. And so um he was unhoused and right. clearly and, crazy. and they said he was under the influence of something. For sure. So it is what it is. Yeah. You know, if he got a good lawyer, he probably could get off on I, I, I would almost be willing to bet that he's not going to get like first degree murder. I don't think so. Yeah. He'll get whatever manslaughter or whatever right, they right. do. But anyway, I was like, oh my God, I know someone who murdered someone. So yeah, I read that article. I had no idea we knew that person. I mean, I know I went to high he school. He looks like about everybody else that we went to high school with. You just know what? Older. Honestly, he doesn't look any different. And I was like, oh, he's very muscular still. Well, that's interesting. But you know, you and I have been, you and I went to high school with some people who um, have gone to prison. Yes, that I know. Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, well, when you know a lot of people, that's kind of inevitable. We were just ta- Daryl and I were just talking about how um, I, when I was a senior in high school, we had one of those horrible assemblies where they do the drunk driving thing. Yeah, and they still do them. They do. In fact, they do like even fake, worse. They do fake like they have the dummies in a car crash, and they're even worse. Where they actually pull kids out of school who go missing, quote unquote missing, and the right. parents are all in. I mean, it is 
harrowing. It's true. It's supposed to like wake you up to though to the Drunk reality. Driving. Yeah. But ours was a higher patrol comes and he goes, 10 of your classmates will be dead from drunk driving. Oh and that God. was like it. And I'm like, what? Sobering. And I was super clean and right. innocent. Even in my senior year, I was like, what are you talking about? No. I was at that time. Yeah. I'm like, no but, one's going to die. But later on, I should really be dead. And within a year, someone died. Yeah. And actually we lost somebody. He was a year younger than me. He was your, I believe, no, he was a year younger than me. So he was older than you. And he died of a drunk driving accident when we were in school. <sighs> it was terror. It was, that never leaves my brain. I you think there's what? a lot of people that that's true for. It never leaves my brain because I remember his mother. <sighs> I remember his mother out of all of that. That's all I remember. Yeah. It was a closed casket and everything. And he was very popular. Very, very popular. Jeez. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, man. And so we were talking about it. And I'm like, I know classmates who have passed away, not from um, drunk, driving. drunk driving, but, you know, somebody passed away like a year after we graduated because he had horrific asthma. Oh, geez. I know. Isn't that awful? He was like 19. Oh my God. I'm like, that's just tragic. I don't know why we're talking about this, but... Anyway, so yeah, he because guy, you mentioned the guy that we knew that murdered someone like and he the did. other day. I, this is new. This is a new yeah. thing on the pile. I just yeah. you know, and if I gave you his name, which I will after the I, show, I knew it, but I yeah, you would, you would recognize it. And when I saw his face, I'm like, I do remember this guy. I thought I sort of did, but you, yeah. like I said, because he looks he was kind of like everybody we ever went to high school with. Oh, that is true. We lived in white suburbia, yes. you know, very uh, yeah rural area. Yeah, they all kind of look the same. Which is really surprising that we, th- we well, we did not thrive, actually. <laughs> we didn't no, thrive. I did terrible there. We, were, we didn't thrive. I couldn't wait to get out. <sighs> I could have, I just. I think I was too busy surviving that I didn't think about getting <laughs> we out. We were just trying to yeah, get out. There's yeah. this new thing going on in social media, and it's specifically TikTok and Instagram, where it says Gen Xers are in therapy, and they're coming into a new problem that most they never had before. And I found it really interesting. In fact, I was telling Daryl about it and I said, yeah, I go, there's this new thing going on and I'm actually coming to terms with the fact that we're also going to starting to get a little bit of it is that these Gen X parents, um, their, their parents, the baby boomers, they're getting older and they want care. Well, this is nothing new. I mean, this has been going on for generations. <clears throat> Except that when we were kids, we were feral. Well, we yeah. we had no supervision. Well, we were. Or you mean the generation? Our generation was very unsupervised. Oh, like, that's true. I, nobody ever went to any of my games. Nobody helped me with my homework. Well, right. Nobody was home. I thought home. that was just us, though. No, no. That's a Gen X thing. Like, oh, that's okay. our parents were making money, and they were being selfish and doing their thing. Because that was new. They took care of us physically. Yeah. But emotionally, they were really... Detached. Were absent. And so now, we're not really feeling the burden or the responsibility to take care of our parents parents. emotionally. And they're just like, um, you are required to take care of me. Sorry. No, exactly. And so they're like, so parents are like going, what do you mean? No, I housed you. And it's like, that's Mm -hmm. all you did because you were required to. I have some friends who are lucky (laughs) enough to have, um, nurturing, loving parent, like real parents. Honestly, that's rare. It is rare. It is. That's probably one of the reasons why I'm so drawn to her because Mm -hmm. she, it's very different, but she would die. I mean, she knows how I feel, but the thought of her not taking care of her mother, she's like, are you crazy? Burn me alive. Yeah. (laughs) I would never. Totally. Yeah. So it's a very interesting, I'm like, God, I didn't really, Again, I'm like, well, maybe I'm just really selfish. I thought I was the only one struggling, but apparently uh, it's a new thing because now our parents are getting elderly yeah. and they're requiring care. And it's so interesting. It's not just us. It's like, it's just so interesting as a generation. We're going, what the fuck? Now you want us to have emotions? We had none. You didn't want to hear what we had to say ever. Now you want us to have feelings. Yeah. Hmm. Have obligatory. Interesting. You know, no. It's an interesting conundrum. Yeah. I'm like, well. Whatever. Well, you know what? I've known for a really long time from a very... I never had children with the thought that my kids were going to take care of me, ever. Ever. Like, I never thought that. No. It's not a thought... Like, I had the thought, and I'm like, no, you need to get over that. That's not... No, I never even... No. Was never a thing. So, I've been preparing for me to get old forever. <laughs> Daryl and I, too, man. Yeah. We're like, what's our plan? You, you have know, to have what one. What is our plan? Because, you, you know, and of course, one. my kids are so cute. They're just like... Tyler's like, no, mom, you're going to, I'm going to take care of you. Oh, he's and so I sweet. said, oh, honey, I'm like, first of all, I don't want to be vegan in my old age, <laughs> number one. 
And he's like, well, why? And I go, you think you're going to prepare my food for me? <laughs> you're going to make me be vegan when I'm old? No, I'm going to start using drugs and partying when I'm old because I have nothing left. I might as well try all the things that right? I didn't get to do when I was trying to be alive for you. No, you won't. Hell yes, I am. Oh my God, dude, I'm going off the rails. If I hit 85... I'm doing it all. I'm going to try it all, except for smack. I probably won't do heroin. But other, well, no, don't. Other than that, you know, well, because I'll just get delighted when I'm dying. But the thing, the thing is, you wouldn't enjoy any of those things that you haven't done. You don't know my life. I what don't. I love cocaine. Can you imagine being like, no. uh, Jamie? Um, Jamie, you're such a control freak. <laughs> you couldn't deal with it. Because I'm a control freak, too, and I can barely deal with the things that I've done. Because you're so out of control. You're like, hey. And it's, it's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> it's paralyzing. So. Well, it was kind of a joke. But yeah, Tyler's insistent that he's going to be caring for me. And he's Same like, sweet. I will care for you. And I'm like, okay, son, that's fine. Except well, I There's don't... different ways of caring for people. Exactly. I go, I, I don't, I, I appreciate it. I don't see it happening, but it's fine. And Kenzie's like, well, no, I thought, I thought I would too. And I'm like, okay, y'all stop. <laughs> Cause I can tell you right now, I, I've seen your homes well, and I don't want to be in they're there. They're in their 20s. To I don't want to be in those homes. My house was like that too when I was young. But <laughs> And then when happened. I tell them, I'm like, when I die, I want you to sell everything I own. They're like, we would never. I'm like, don't keep anything. Sell God, all okay, of it. Okay, mother. <laughs> no. Mom's going to die and we're going to go in her house. It's going to be all boxed up with like two things left. Hello? She'll be like, well, I knew it was coming. So I just got rid of everything. What was the point? A lot of people do that. It's called oh. Swedish death cleaning. Oh, I had no idea. The Swedes give away all their shit as they get older. When they're, yeah. So when they die, they have like the clothes on their back and a bed. Yeah. And that's it. That's all they have. Well, like, I mean. Mm, not the worst idea. It's not the worst idea. I can't say I wouldn't appreciate it if I had to go clean out, you know, my Seriously. dead mother's house. And she had done it all in advance. Except yeah. they'll be like, oh, there's this key. We forgot to tell you she has a storage unit. <laughs> Not our mother. <laughs> Never. She's like, she goes, she used to give me shit. She's like, you look like a Trojan. And I'm like, well, where do you think I got it? Like, look at the walls. There's nothing on them. That's my house. <laughs> it's, de it's just desolate. It's just stuff. And then it gets old and it breaks and I have to throw it away. So God. why? I'm getting ready. And I, I always, I do this every fall where I'm just going to purge all of my clothes. I hate everything. I'm like, if I haven't worn this. Purge over here. <laughs> Oh, they're no, my way. They're gross clothes. You don't oh, want them. unless they're like, yeah, okay. No, 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 no. They're clothes that I was wearing to like swim meets and shit. Right, rags. And I'm like, no, no, no. Yes, they're rags. I don't know why we hold on to, I hold on to rags longer than I hold on to <laughs> things that are like nice. I if know. I can't fit them anymore or I never fit them in the first place and it's a nice clothe, yeah. I get rid of it. How but many? if it's a t-shirt that I love and it's got holes in both armpits. And like, the, eh. I'm like, yeah, I can still wear this in the backyard. I'll clean it. I'll clean in this. Exactly. I have so many clothes like that. <laughs> This is for when I'm doing the garage. Because yeah, you do it all the time, right? Never. <laughs> it's so true. Anyway, um, let's talk about some of the shit we've been watching on television. Because So we were on the flight. I didn't tell you this last week. When you're on a 10-hour flight, there's a shit ton of movies. And they have all the oh. new releases. So I finally saw Top Gun. Great. Oh, Maverick. I finally saw, oh, whatever it's called. It's called Maverick, but that's okay. It was fine. It was what you thought it was going to be. Maybe a little fine. worse. Yeah, but I'm like... Is this what it was like in the 80s and I just didn't see the cheese? No. I don't know. Or was it just because it was so original in the 80s that it yeah. was like, oh, we've well, never now seen we've, anything like now this. Now we've been exposed to everything 10 times and in 10 different ways. I thought Val Kilmer looked fine. I did too. He, the, I think the only reason they didn't make him a main character is because he can't speak. <laughs> Dude, when he's typing, I'm like, what's happening? He what can't speak. This? He has no voice. And then finally he's all, do it. Or he said whatever <laughs> he says, you know, he's like, teach that. And I'm like, oh my God. And I'm like, this is difficult. Because physically he looked much better than I thought he would. Oh, well, you know what's funny is when they showed him and I'm like, well, that's a hair piece for sure. Okay. I perhaps. mean, he's definitely been spray tanned. You well, know? I mean, wouldn't you? I would be like, you make me look as much as Doc Holiday as you can, please. Uh, thank you. I mean, well, I mean, or Iceman. Ice, Iceman, I mean, because yeah, Doc Holiday, he probably in real life looks like Doc Holiday now, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> He looked so good in that in Tombstone, though. Oh, God, he's the best. I mean, yeah, it's very sad, but I thought they did a great job I of did. fooling us all. And yes. and I loved seeing him. I it did, was too. Great. It was, and that was one of the, that was a good little scene. It was small and short. Well, and we needed that little reunion. We needed it. Yeah, for sure. But in general, I was like, you know what? I mean, I wouldn't watch it again. Yeah. I mean, there were people who are just like, I've seen it seven times. Oh, and I'm like, why? Stop it. Yeah. God. I've seen it twice. Jerry bought it on, you know, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the TV or whatever. Right, so right. it's there it's in the catalog 
with all of the other movies. But um, yeah, it's not. It's not. I thought they did a good job with like the the flying scenes. Oh yes, those were really very did. very good. You're right. Yeah. The acrobatics were amazing. Yeah. I'm like, God, are they really going to kill Maverick? That would be awesome, but they would Hell dare. no. They wouldn't dare. He needs something to retire off of. <sighs> yeah. He, he's no he's no uh, Harrison Ford. Oh, my God. Like Indiana Jones. I mean, how many of those have they made? But well, he's the last one's coming out next year. Indiana Jones? Yes. Is Harrison Ford going to be in it? Yes. He's, it's his final one. He goes, when I die, Indiana Jones dies. Okay. Well, that's, thank God. I wonder if Indiana Jones is going to die. Why do I want everyone to die suddenly? What well, is going on in my brain it's today? It's final so that you, Maybe they can't bring October. it back. <laughs> Maybe I'm just in the Halloween spirit. <laughs> I want everyone to die. Um, no. And then I saw, um, okay, so I saw Spencer. I don't know Spencer. Um, I no, most don't. It's a uh, Kristen it independent film that was filmed in, in India. You like no that shit. Spencer is about Princess Diana. Oh, that and was her last name. Yes, before, before she, got, she married. got married. Yeah, um, and it. Uh, I can't think of her name. The, the Twilight Girl. It's Kristen oh, Lord. Yeah, you know what? And as much as I hate her, I heard she was brilliant in this movie. Okay, personally, I struggled. Okay, good because she's she's got such a sour face all the time. I know from birth till today, she yeah. never looks she's happy. The legit resting bitching face. Kristen Stewart. Her child. Yes. Kristen Stewart. Okay, so the now whoever did their wigs spot on it oh. looked just like diana's hair during oh. this time period now this is the time period when harry and william were still kind of little yeah he was like probably 11 and harry was like six or how whatever the age of he so was, they were they, were, they were divorced nope no still married and this was this whole movie takes place during christmas from christmas the day before christmas until the day after christmas why was this a significant christmas I'm not sure, but this is there, there. Apparently, there was some things she was in the throes of her eating disorder. Oh, and it was she was just like not even hiding it anymore. She would eat a course, leave, and go purge, and everybody knew, and everyone knew it. And the chef, she had a good relationship with the chef. He tried; he was trying everything to keep her from purging. Like this food is so good, you're not going to want to throw it. Up. He's like, and the scenes in the kitchen, they're just like, this is the menu, and every, and they literally would stop this. And every scene had this scene of, okay, hey, this is today's menu. We want we want the princess to enjoy this. This is her favorite stuff. Not one mistake can be made. We want her to eat this. And so it's like he was trying so desperately to keep her from purging, mm-hmm. like hoping that the food would be good enough that she yeah, wouldn't want to. Right. But it had nothing to do it with how delicious to, the food was. Right. This was in the beginning when Charles was being really obvious about his affair. affair. Where he bought Camilla and Diana the same strand of pearls for Christmas. Everybody in the media knew it. It was really a thing. And they were really trying to control Diana because she was just like, I'm sick of this. Like, I'm done playing I the would stupid too. wife. And so it's really all about that. Now, that part, that the plot, I got it. There was um, some fantasy to it as well. Like Anne Boleyn was showing up quite a bit. If you don't know who that is, she's one of King Richard or King Henry's wives that was beheaded. Oh, and they, they're saying that there was a relation between the two of them oh. because Amblin was charged with treason and beheaded so that he could marry another woman. Ugh. And so the correlation between right. Diana and Camilla. Okay. So there was parts of it, but I, for a minute, I mean, I really struggled, but she did get the body language correct mm-hmm. and the makeup mm-hmm. and all that was right, but I could still see her. Well, yeah. And so I'm like, I get it. I don't know why she got nominated for an Oscar for this. I don't see it personally. It was, it was slow and a long film. Some, to people, me. some people get caught up in the idea of a film, mm-hmm. what it represents, and the, then trying to highlight the person that's so beloved Yes, that it, the, all the other acting and the bullshit like doesn't even matter. Yeah, I just, but I really struggled with it because I'm like, okay, I think we've played this out. I don't think we yeah. need any more movies about Princess Diana. No. We don't need you know any other her, angles. Her kids are probably so over it. I mean, we know Harry is. Yeah. Like, he's had enough. And so I'm like, you know what? I mean, this is a woman who desperately wanted to play the role, but Charles made it impossible. Yeah. Impossible. He did. He really did. He's like, sometimes, you know, he goes, sometimes we have to put our bodies through things that we hate for the good of the country. And she's like, hate? Really? And like, the queen is, she's like, yo, she's a beautiful woman. What the hell's wrong with you, Charles? She's beautiful. She's royal. She's, she's all everything. the things. Yeah. But she's not this dog face. And guess what? She actually loved him. And she loved her country. She loved her country, but she did actually love Prince she Charles did. in the beginning before she, she just, did. just embarrassed her and humiliated her constantly. Over and over. She really did have love for him. She did. 
So I don't know if it was deep and dying passionate love, but I don't, I definitely know I that she loved him. She did love him. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, I, so I watched that and then I watched a documentary about Shannon Hoon, the lead singer of Blind Melon. Oh God. Uh, he died of a heroin overdose, right? He did, but he filmed himself from the year before he got famous until the day he died. Because of his addiction? No, he just, he was kind of a, a typical fucked up 20 something that we all yeah. were in the nineties. So shot heroin so for me well it, that wasn't until the end he was actually an alcohol a raging alcoholic oh. and then he got sober and then it was weed like he went through the thing that everybody goes through in their 20s if you're a user and then he got famous yeah and he their had band so got much, famous he had so much money that he could do whatever he wants well what was interesting was he was being interviewed constantly and then finally one a rolling stone journalist went you know, you've been interviewed by some of the best in the business, and every single interview, you say you're not happy. Oh. Every single interview, you say, I'm not happy. And you're like, what's going on with that? He's like, I don't know. I have everything. And I love my girlfriend. We've been together forever. We're successful. We're writing great music. Do, I'm working with some of the best in the business, and I'm just not happy. And then four or five months later, Kurt Cobain died. Oh. And he spiraled. Why? A lot of people do you know when when someone that you admire dies suddenly you you're taking inventory and i just think he spiraled so he went to rehab and all the things anyway i couldn't stop watching it because it was like a yearbook of the 90s well i would have i would have enjoyed that i would probably enjoy that film yeah. because there was a lot of people who were dying at that during it, that time and he he played with all the bands yeah. that i absolutely love so because yeah. i was like what the hell are you watching a documentary and i'm like dude this is like a yearbook of the 90s from like 1990 <laughs> to 1996 is my literally my 20s yeah it was that's insane true. i was like it was like being, you know, and that was a time period when I wanted to move to Seattle. I oh wanted God. to do the whole thing, you know. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. I was ready. I was ready. And I was like all in on the grunge scene yeah. and all of it. And then and then I decided not to. I don't I don't know why, but I didn't. But um, Logical yeah. Logical heads prevailed. Usually that's what it is, yeah, you, you know. know, eventually. But I just wanted to get out so bad. I'm like, I just want to go and start over, you know. But <laughs> some people do. I did not. But anyway, so yeah, I watched it like that. But then you and I both saw Elvis. I saw it before. Was that your first time? Yeah. On the plane? Oh, no. I saw it before we left. Oh, okay. I didn't I know. Because I had asked you if you were seen it, and you said you hadn't seen it. No, when you and I talked, I said I had just seen it, and I couldn't believe how delicious that oh, actor yeah, was. Oh, yeah, you did. Okay. Austin, my bad. whatever his name is. Tyler. Austin Butler. Austin Butler. Oh, my God. And I didn't know who he was either. I've since looked. He's and got the juiciest little he mouth. Was a dinner, he was a Disney star. and You don't look like a Disney star No, no not more. now. I'm saying when he was a, a child. Little kid. Oh, yeah, see, yeah. That makes me sad because I know he could be literally my child. Well, right. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute. I was like, God, he's yeah. adorable. And Priscilla Presley... F- 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 praised that movie she did She's like that is the Fully only movie i've it. ever seen and and her daughter that actually yes. portrayed elvis the way he was oh my gosh and you know it's funny um daryl and i watched it because a lot of um the black community really condemned the um the story of elvis yeah because and i didn't know any of this i didn't know that either i knew none of it i had no idea that he never sang an original song his entire career was they were it was all black music and i had no idea but that's who he resonated but with. this is but this is the thing is like they made it very clear like if this man had been able to live the life and have the career he really wanted he would have been a huge supporter of the black community and Agreed. black music he's like he grew up in that he That's was so true. poor they that lived they in lived Memphis, in the, yeah, with the black community, yeah. and he and they loved him. They did love him. He was friends with all of the famous, oh my God. later famous, um, you know, B- rock and rhythm and blues. Oh my play- God, people, all of them. That's where he got all his inspiration. He took parts of their songs and made them into so- original songs. I mean, I I read all of that and mm-hmm. didn't, but you know, I think he did the best he could. I mean, let's face it. In those times in the 50s and 60s, mm-hmm. you had to do what you had to do if you really wanted to be successful in music, especially yes. as a white man. There was no did. way he could embrace African-American culture no. publicly. No. He would no, he would never would have gotten anywhere. Yeah. So he did it's what true. he did, had to do, and as many people do. You know, you sell, sell yourself. yourself to the devil mm-hmm. to get what you need. And so I don't necessarily fault him for I that. don't fault him for it either, especially when it seems, and I haven't seen any blowout from it yet, is that... No, it's true. The black community supported him and they loved that he was singing their music and that people were actually hearing their music. I, 
I I could be completely wrong with that, but I've I've yet to no one's read come out or and publicly hear and say this is bullshit. He stole yeah. from the black community. No. I don't know, and I, I haven't and heard I, it publicly. I haven't heard it and no. see, or seen anything um, prior to the film. I do know that the black there were people in the black community who went, "No, he fucking stole everything." Yeah, and I'm like. It, both things could be true. I have yeah. no idea. And it frankly. totally could be true. So, yeah. but but the movie in itself, I thought was very good. It was. It was very yeah. sad. Um, it was sad. Lots of it made me really sad. I thought but. Tom Hanks was terrible. I think he did the best he could to portray that person. But they could have found someone else. I just like Tom Hanks can't do everything. <laughs> That's <laughs> he, all I'm saying. He can't be Woody and uh, what was this guy's name? Um, Colonel. The Colonel. Colonel Tom or whatever his name was. Yeah. And now and then he's now and he's, Mr. Rogers. And now he's Geppetto. <laughs> I tried to watch it the other day. I couldn't get through it. I'm so I can't. You know what? I was busy, so I had it on. And but I thought if it's really really good, I'll stop whatever I'm doing. I'll and I'm I'll just, watch. I'm so Disneyed out. I can't watch another fucking couldn't. Disney show. Yeah. Like, okay, so there's this new Star It's not Star Wars, but it is Star Wars called Andor. Uh, is it out yet? Yes, it's a series, and it came out, and it's, you know, Daryl's all in. I know. he's everything Star Wars. I know he is. Totally get it. It's fine. It's a childhood thing. He loves it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So we're watching it. I'm like, I, it's glacial. <laughs> I'm bored. I can't watch anything slow. I can't do it. And I know Pedro Pascal or whatever the guy's name is is adorable. I can't. Is it is it animated? No. Oh, okay. Then I haven't seen it. And and I and I go I go. So basically, this is the rebellion before the rebellion. He I, goes yes, right. He goes. There's a lot. There's a lot of moving pieces. And he's trying to tell me this. I'm like, oh, you know I what? Can't. I said I am so happy that you're happy about this. Right. I go, but I but please don't wait for me. Yeah. Continue watching this without me. I'm so glad. Forever. I, and honestly, I would if I were you, I'd be mm-hmm. so happy that it brings him so much joy because it's I, fun to be excited about something you love. Yes. But I am not excited about it. Just like I love watching the shit show sister wives he has no Same. interest oh he and no why would he sure he can't the mere the mere trailers or commercials for real he's housewives like, of any kind he's like oh the real housewives of stupid god <laughs> how many of those fucking shows do they make and i'm like i only watch two it's this i do not watch salt lake city i can tell you that, oh by the way real housewives heather dubrow is mia miss um i did you know this? I wish she would die. Okay, so <laughs> Heather Dubrow. Not really, literally. But. I know what you're saying. Heather Dubrow apparently ha- is no longer filming. She hasn't filmed in weeks because Terry, his, uh, apparently he's had a full on affair and everyone knows about it. Yay! And Heather, <laughs> Heather is terrified to film with this news. Little Miss Perfect? Because of Tamra. She's so afraid that Tamara Judge is going to go, oh, please, Miss Dubrow. Oh, she is, too. Hey, she's sitting there going, I've got this in my holster, and I she cannot, cannot wait. She cannot wait. She cannot wait. And so, it would not surprise me if if Heather took the chicken shit way out and was like, I want out of my contract. I'll pay you. I don't fucking care. We have so much money. It doesn't even matter. She is swimming in cash. It has nothing to do with yeah, her. They're very, this very is all wealthy. about ego and the career of whatever oh career Oh, my God. She no, wants. her whole persona, her whole, her whole spiel mm-hmm. on TV is the Little Miss Perfect Jewish girl who succeeded and despite all the odds and has the perfect marriage and the perfect children i know now apparently <sighs> when i was reading it's all a lie this isn't the first time that he's done this of course it isn't look at him he's a rich successful doctor slash tv personality he sees beautiful naked women every day constantly you and think his, there's not gonna be one that gets catches his fancy he's such one yeah he's a narcissistic <laughs> egomaniac it is absolutely inevitable that that man isn't he partners with one of the maloofs yes yeah well he was married to a maloof married to a maloof and they got divorced and he's married to someone else now but i wonder if he fools around of course he's not cute i don't know he's ugly um i don't think terry's all that in a bag of chips either no he's not but women are completely blind when it comes to money they're like you're rich and you can make my tits look great uh, and we're in la Exactly. Anyway, so I thought I, I didn't know if you knew anything about that and how funny. I, I did you not. Liked her. I, I thought you liked her. I well, so she I love and hate her. OK, I do. You love I do. You, you hate. You know what her. it is about her? I, I think if I were rich and I would try really hard not to be, but I would be kind of like her. I can see that. Yeah. yeah. She she has a button in her bathroom that she pushes. It says champagne. <gasps> and like they, Bob, Bob Ricard in London. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it literally signals someone in the kitchen to bring her champagne. Get out. And she has more than one in the house. Bitch. Yeah, she has, she has, you know how you put your, your I'd towels? I'd be like, I'd be like, can guests use this button? 
Oh, her, all her friends come over and they push it. Oh my God. Um, so she has this I love the it. last thing I'll say about her, <laughs> but she, when I saw this, when she designed her new house and I saw this one feature, I was like, I would absolutely have thought of that. <laughs> So you know how you put your towel, your folded towels in a cabinet of some kind? Yeah. Well, obviously she has cabinets in her master bathroom. Okay. We we have ours in the hall or whatever. Like, like normal people. Yeah. Well, Mine are downstairs. We're, we're not rich, right? In a linen closet. Yes, exactly. Next to the bathroom. Exactly. Yes. So all of the shelves in the um, bathroom are heated. Get, shut up. So when she pulls the towels out, they're it's nice warm. It's snugly for her. Yes. You know what? That's precious. Isn't it though? It's so precious. <laughs> I was like, I would totally do that. All right, let's do our some ugly and awkward moments of the week. You don't have to have one. I have, I have one. It's your one thing. I know. No, you know what? I was just thinking, I'm like, I remember having one and I didn't write it down. It's okay. I have several. Um, okay, good. I think, I, I, know I, I know I did not talk about this because it's been a while since we've recorded. What? I do have one. Okay. But go ahead. So Mackenzie calls me every day on her way to work okay. because it's a commute and she just wants someone to talk to. Yes. Normally I'm available and I have, and I love talking to her. Of course. She's, she's in sincerely insane and, <laughs> but I love her. She's just like me basically. <laughs> so she tells me all the tea at work or she tells me tea about her friends or whatever. Whatever's going on. Well, we're talking and it was getting kind of late and she was almost to work and I'm like, oh man, I need to check to see. I think I was checking to see if you had messaged me or if I got a text or something like that. And I'm walking around talking to her and Daryl's watching TV or something. And I go, honey. He goes, yeah. I go, have you seen my phone? (laughs) And I'm holding it. He goes, are you kidding me right now? I'm like, no. And he goes, you're talking on it. I'm like, oh, hello. Yes. Here it is. Just kidding. How many times? I've done this with glasses. I have had my phone in my hand going, have you seen my phone? Like a million times. I think I'm just... I think I'm with, having neurological issues. I've done it with my keys and my glasses. Yes. That's so funny that you said that because the other day I, <laughs> at my job, it's a secure building and inside there's secure doors. So wherever you go within the building, you have to use your badge to do, do, do yeah. open doors, Safety right? Safety and security. Correct. So I, it's like my second hand. I, okay. I, because I do not want to leave it. I can't go anywhere without it. Right. I can't even get into the building. So you'll be stuck eventually if you don't. Uh, exactly. So I have a very specific routine that I do when I get home from work and when I leave for work in the morning so that it's always with me on yeah. my body. Well, I get to work after taking like a long weekend and I'm standing outside. I'm like, shit, I'm digging through my purse. <gasps> I'm like, the fuck? Oh, um, figures I fit, left my badge. I'm take an extra day off and I'm all of a sudden just a complete idiot. Like, I don't know where it is. So somebody I know lets me in the building. I go into where I get a temporary badge. I get my temporary badge. I'm an idiot. I'm now I'm like 15 minutes late for work. Oh no. Which who fucking cares. I work oh. for the county. <laughs> but the point is, is that I had wasted yes. 15 minutes of this morning, like getting the badge, go upstairs, get, get settled and look down. And my badge is hanging from my pan oh, pocket. Oh, it's right there. You're I like- had it on the whole time i inconvenienced Idiot. no less than three people <laughs> to let me in the building oh my god because my friend had to i texted her she had to come outside and oh let me god. in escort me to the and super it's like ding 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 the whole time and she by the way she didn't notice oh my god <laughs> so I'd be like, what's that she'd be like uh girl <laughs> i'm glad she didn't notice but yes she is a witness and to then, a lot of your awkward and moments. then the guy who gives me gives me the badge who's also a friend he didn't notice that i was on my hip <sighs> No one noticed, so. You included others, so you win this week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Good Lord. Anyway, all right, well, we've covered murder, death, uh, awkward moments, um, and mm. see. Oh, so really quick on Sister Wives. Um, it's, mm. a, it's a hot mess. I watched it. I am not completely caught up because. I think I watched the first episode. I, I think, think there's, now there's been, as of this, there will be, f- the fourth comes out tonight. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I'm behind. Yeah, I'm yeah. behind for sure. But, I mean, it's all kind of the same. Nothing's really changed. Now they're just. They're now they're just hammering the Christine thing. They're beating it to death. And I'm like, okay, we've got, we've got everyone's reactions. And you can tell by how, like, it's been a long time since she left from when they're filming. Right. Because she's, like, not upset. She's not sad. She's totally over it. I have to tell you, I. 100% agree. It feels like this is post film. It is. Like they're like we have to film it. We have to give the drama or no one's going to watch. And of watch. course she filmed because she wants the money. I mean, why uh, wouldn't she? Yeah. I'm just so yeah. curious how they're going to untangle the contracts and all the stuff. Like 
if she's because you know cody's like is she not actively involved and i don't want her to be paid you know and we want to absorb her money and they're gonna be like that's fine we're gonna give her a spinoff show anyway so i I see that coming oh from a mile away and if they don't i mean i can't wait for her to start dating Uh, we all want to see that i cannot i I should be like christine's single life or something i don't know i don't know yeah Uh, right uh, uh, remember that show with uh, um uh, what's her name from Seinfeld? It was called uh, New oh, Adventures. Oh, Julia Louis Ju- Julia Louis Dreyfus, where it was New Adventures with Old Christine. Yeah, I mean, they could totally funny. do a play on that. Absolutely, and I am all in. Yeah, I would. Ra- I would rather watch that than the same old blubbering Robin. You know? I can't fucking. And what? What the fuck did she do to her eyebrows? What? Why is she suddenly taking up the torch of bad eyebrow care I- on this show? <laughs> it used to be know. Mary, and now it's. It's her. Now it's her. It's well, like, now Mary's going through like this grunge rock look where she puts oh so God. much gel in her house and it's like one, one side's like slicked up like this. And she's like, yeah, where I'm it's like, like oh something like something God. about Mary. It's like, oh, is that hair gel? Let me have God. some. I need some. I mean, she she's that woman all, has no identity. She has so many fillers in her face. God, right. Like she can barely she's squinting like Gwen I know, Stefani. I know, I know. <laughs> Must we speak of Gwen Stefani and what she's done to her face? Everybody said that. I can't. I haven't watched her on the voice. Have you watched it at all? Stephanie, I literally deleted the recordings. I can't I don't It's got Camilla Cabello on it. I hate her. Camilla. I hate her. Camilla Cabello? I hate her. Oh, okay. The industry the, the, there are I people love it when you call me Santeria. <laughs> No, but there are people in the industry that they try to shove down the, the people's throats. Like, oh no, we, we completely believe in this person. They're going to be so famous. They're going to catch on blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, nope, I can't stand her. Fuck fetch. Not to mention. It's not happening. (laughs) It's not happening. She was terrible when she was in that girl group. She was like the worst. Everyone hated her. I didn't even know she was in a girl group. Yes. Exactly. Well, I mean, she's like 25. Whatever. I don't don't like her. And I don't like that she was with with Sean Mendes because he's adorable and precious and she has no <laughs> business being with him. They worked together for a while. I don't care. She's horrible and I'm glad he got over her. Mm. I hope he did anyway. God. Yeah, Justin Bieber really needs to get over Selena Gomez. Uh, he's literally going to ruin his marriage. <laughs> he's an idiot and Haley Bieber looks like a desperate little tramp. Can it's so funny. Why do you keep sad. talking about her? And she's like, everyone thinks, I, you still him and I'm like, why are you talking shit? First of all, worst podcast ever. I don't want oh, to even never discuss it. it. Yeah. She, she's terrible. Oh, and yeah. and you know I've listened to her podcast. I'm like, why does Selena this girl or, or Haley Haley Bieber was on a podcast of this person oh. who used to do it with her best friend. They had a falling out, and she continued on. And she's being sponsored by Barstool Sports, so okay. she gets a lot of promotion and stuff like that. She, the the podcast is completely morphed. When it was her and her friend, they would talk like you and me. Uh huh. There was a falling out. That girl has her own podcast. It's not nearly as popular. Yeah. Then this girl has hers. And now she's interviewing like social media celebs. She's interviewing. big. Yeah. She's interviewing people from TikTok. She's, you know, that kind of level because the kind of girls who are interested in that, that's their, that's her market. Right. She's still like a mean girl. I just, she talks like she's from the Valley. I, I don't know. I, she, she's always rubbed me the wrong way. I'm like, I've listened to her show. I'm like, why is this bitch? famous why is like Brent why Glanville? is this podcast so big i don't understand it yeah who is listening to this and Someone. Everyone, everybody says they're not listening i'm like well you're lying yeah they're listening everyone's a hate listen it's a hate listen thing and that's fine yeah good for her she's making her millions i'm happy for that part of it you know i never begrudge a woman for making her way oh me too you know but it's it's like for sure nails on a chalkboard to me and maybe because i'm old as fuck i yeah, don't know i was just thinking i'm like these people are really young and it's but so Haley hard. bieber is it, she can't could she have tried to make herself any smaller on that couch? Ugh. My God. She was shrinking as much as she could. I'm like, girl, you deserve so much better. I don't know what this is, why you're doing this with this person. Justin needs true mental health. Well, I think they both assistance. do. Oh, well, yeah. I think she's uh, yeah. got an eating disorder. I mean, I think she, I don't know, man. she's a model and, you know. Poor Selena. Selena's like, I am therapied. I am 10 pounds heavier and she, I look like amazing. She does look amazing, by and the way. And I'm working like a crazy person. She's dating someone amazing right now, too, and I can't remember who I don't it need, is. I, you're right. I mean, she's she work, keeps it low key like she should. Yeah, she's working with Steve Martin and Martin Short. She's got makeup. She's got perfume. Well, you know, she's kicking it. She's the killing thing, it. The thing with Selena Gomez is she's talented. She is 
is talented. She is truly <laughs> talented, and she's not a one-trick pony. She is not. She can so, sing and act. She and can sing. She can act. Maybe she's... she can dance. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do a shuffle for us, Selena. The can thing you about it? yeah, the thing I love about her is she's really coming into being a real woman. I love her and maturity. It looks wonderful on her. It's so, so nice, it's and a I'm so thing. happy for her because she has like she has significant health issues too, for sure. I she had she, lupus. I think she had a kidney transplant. Yeah, if I'm not she, mistaken. I, or, didn't she give a kidney? I can't remember. She, got, she but took you're a right. kidney. She took a kidney yes. from like her best friend or somebody. Like a friend. Yeah. I was just like, or, this girl or, 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 is great. Somebody. She's doing so great. You know, Demi Lovato could learn a few things. That's all I'm saying. Demi Lovato gets on my fucking nerves. I'm over Demi Lovato. Could she be, what else are you going to be? Are you going to be Stephanie? a sheep tomorrow? Actually. Maybe you'll be a llama. Do you know her, her, I know this is sensitive territory for some people, okay, but fine. we're talking shit. But let me tell you this, the they, them thing. Have you listened to our show? The they, them it lasted not even a year. A minute. She's like, oh, I'm a she now. And I'm like, oh, And I'm pretty oh, sure that she's person? dating a guy again. I don't remember. God, like, you know, stop trying to be everything for everyone is just all I'm saying. Just figure out who the fuck you are. And then just say, no, I'm, I'm fluid. It's like, no, you're not fluid. You're indecisive. And you're trying to adhere to something that will make you lovable well, to she, a lot of people be, i don't know well i think she would love to be taken out of that i'm just a drug addict <laughs> yes. because that's what we all see her as now you know yeah. and, she, and for a while she clung to that like yes i'm a drug addict i own it that I'm the song face sober of addiction. yeah like, no one should be the face of addiction okay sweetie look at bam Magara. oh my that god guy. dude dude Yes. No one Ooh. don't don't ever make addiction your identity, even if you're an addict. It's just not a Seriously. smart move when you're in entertainment. I fucking agree. Because when you fuck up again, guess what? That's all we remember. And by the way, it's very normal and common to relapse. It is. That's People what relapse. It happens and all it's, the time. It's part of the path. It's man. almost it's almost a given. Like if you get yes. sober and you stay sober forever, that I, is so rare. It's very rare. So that's I why agree. these celebrities who come out and be like I finally saw the light. I'm going to be sober. I'm like, you're stupid and shut the fuck up. And anyone a year from now, (laughs) anyone who has been sober for like a decade goes, I remember when I was that way. (laughs) It's like, that's just not the reality. But anyway. All right. Well, that's the end of the show. Thank you so much for listening. Enjoy your October and we'll be back next week with a new show. Bye. Bye.